Let's try to solve this problem. Simplify the radical. So let's start with 1. Square root of 4, x to the 4th, y to the 8th, z to the 6th. Okay, so if we encounter a constant inside a radical, which is in this problem is 4, we can uh, try to convert them first into prime factorization or into their exponential form. So we can have square root of 4 can be written as in terms of its exponential form, as 2 square, right? Since 2 square means 2 factors of 2 or 2 times 2 is 4. Then copy the variables x to the 4th, y to the 8th, c to the 6th. By the way, when you have a square root, the index or the small number beside this uh, radical symbol is 2. So next step is for each of the terms inside the radical, we just copy the same base for the constant, that's 2, right? Then, divide the exponent of 2, which is 2, by the index 2. So, we have 2 raised to 2. For the x, divide the exponent of 4 by the index 2, 4 over 2. For y, divide the exponent of 8 by the index 2. For z to the 6, copy the base z and divide the exponent of 6 by the index 2. Simplifying 2 raised to 2 divided by 2 is 1. So if it's 2 to the first, we just write it as 2. Then x raised to 4 divided by 2, that's 2. y raised to 8 divided by 2, it's 4. z raised to 6 divided by 2, it's 3. So therefore, the final answer is 2x squared y to the fourth z cubed. Next, cube root of 27x to the 9 y to the 12 z cubed. Okay, so we have cube root of 27 can be written as 3 cubed. Okay x to the 9, y to the 12, z cubed. Again, we divide each of the exponent of the term by the index. This time is 3. So, 3 raised to 3 divided by 3. x raised to 9 divided by 3. y raised to 12 divided by 3. z raised to 3 divided by 3. So, 3 raised to 3 divided by 3, that's 1. So, it's just equal to 3. x raised to 9 divided by 3, that's 3 y raised to 12 divided by 3, that's 4. Then z raised to 3 divided by 3, that's 1. Or if the exponent is 1, no need to write. Therefore, the answer is 3x cubed, y to the 4th, z. Next, for number 3, we have 4th root of 16, a to the 12, b to the 16, c to the 20. So we can write that as 4th root, 16 can be written as 2 to the 4th, a to the 12, b to the 16, c to the 20. Again, we will have 2 raised to 4. So again, let's just divide directly. 4 divided by 4 is 1. So 2 to the first or simply 2. Then A raised to 12 divided by 4, that's 3. B raised to 16 divided by 4, that's 4. Then C raised to 20 divided by 4, that's 5. So the final answer is 2A cubed B to the 4th, C to the 5th. Next, 5th root of 32w to the negative 10, x to the 25th power, y to the 30th power. So, it can be written as 5th root of 32 can be written in terms of exponential expression as 2 to the 5th, right? Then, copy the remaining expression first. Then, again, we divide the exponents to the index 5. So, for the base 2, we have 2 raised to 5 divided by 5. That's 1. So, it's just equal to 2. W raised to negative 10 divided by 5, that's negative 2. X raised to 25 divided by 5, that's 5. Y raised to 30 divided by 5, that's 6. So we can make the negative exponent of W negative 2 as positive exponent applying the law of negative exponents. So X to the negative N is equal to 1 over X to the N. So it's the same as 2 X to the 5th, Y to the 6th, over w squared. Next, 6th root of 2 to the 12, 3 to the 6th, a to the 12, b to the negative 18, c to the 24th power. So the constant term here are already expressed in terms of exponential form. So we can directly divide their exponents by the index 6. So for 2, we have 2 raised to 12 divided by 6, that's 2. For 3, 3 raised to 6 divided by 6, that's 1, or simply 3. For a, a raised to 12 divided by 6, that's 2. 
B raised to negative 18 divided by 6, that's negative 3. Then C raised to 24 divided by 6, that's 4. So simplifying 2 squared, that's 2 times 2 or 4, times 3 A squared, B to the negative 3, C to the 4. So we can multiply 4 times 3, that's 12. So 12 A squared, B to the negative 3, C to the 4. For b to the negative 3, we can apply the negative law of exponent again. So b will go down the denominator having an exponent of 3. So it's also equal to 12a squared c to the 4th over b to the positive 3. So this is the final answer. Okay, now it's your turn. So try to solve this problem and just comment your answer.